Lyme disease is a tick-borne illness spread mainly by the deer tick. A tick has to be on your skin, attached to your skin, for 36 to 48 hours before it actually transmits Lyme disease. Somewhere between three and 30 days, symptoms may begin, usually one to two weeks after the tick has bitten you. You will start to see symptoms, like flu-like symptoms, like fever, malaise, just feeling really tired, but having joint pain, and at the site of the bite, you will have often, 80% of the time, a uh, bullseye rash. So it's a red rash with a pale center. What's difficult about that is people assume that that's, they're going to see that in order to decide that they've been infected with Lyme disease. And if a tick bites you somewhere that you're not really looking at, maybe on your back, on your scalp, under your arm, you may have that rash and not see it. Or in some cases, you may not have a rash at all. If you see a tick on you, first of all, if, if it's probably only been there for a short time, don't panic and don't think that you automatically have Lyme disease, but you want to remove it right away. So you remove it with tweezers. You can put it in an alcohol or an antiseptic solution just to make sure that it, you've killed it and then flush it down the toilet. If you're out camping or out in the tall grasses, that kind of thing, um, think about the clothing that you're wearing. If you're wearing light colored clothing, you're more likely to see a tick on your clothing. Wear long pants, tuck your pants into your socks. When you come home from camping or come home from being in tall grass, take your clothes off and wash them immediately. Make sure that you shower right away and make sure that you really do a good job of inspecting your skin and inspecting everywhere. Best to have someone help you if you can to make sure you check your children, your pets as well. If your property abuts kind of a wooded area, then the best thing to do is create about a three foot barrier between your property and the woods. And what you would do is just, you know, cut the grass in that area and put down wood chips. Minimize the tall grass, minimize the overgrowth, and try to keep things cleaned up a bit so that there aren't areas that those ticks might want to stay in that your family might have access to.